I know there must be some people in the audience who I went to school with who are shaking their heads right now, wondering how in the world did that guy get up here? Well, part of my secret is my sticking around for almost 75 years. I think the selection committee also checked and found there wasn't an ice cream man on the list, so it was my time. When I entered the university, you could count on one hand the people who were from Brenham. Suddenly I was thrown in with folks from San Angelo to Schuenberg and from Muleshoe to Mission. This was an eye opener and an education in itself. Not only did I have to learn to live with a roommate who I'd never met, early on I found all of us here didn't think alike. It took a while for me to relate to the sophisticated city kids from Dallas and Houston, but the university has a way of bringing people together. Today, many of those sophisticated people are some of my really good friends. Of course, they now have a sophisticated friend in Brenham. <laughs> By the way, I meant to thank those other five girls mentioned in the video. <laughs> Had they not already had dates to the K.A. Zeta party, I would have never found Jane Cook from Atlanta, Texas. Although she is just as pretty and feisty and opinionated as she was on that very first date in October of 1958, she's turned out to be a wonderful, supportive wife for 52 years. She gave me three great children, and they in turn produced 10 fun grandchildren. That's what happens when you eat good ice cream. <laughs> <clears throat> My journalism degree gave me a knack for good graphics and reasonable ability to communicate. Eat and enjoy BB ice cream. It's creamy and delicious was our company's advertising theme when I started. It didn't take much imagination to improve on that by spelling out the company name and emphasizing our made in the country background. I was a third college graduate to go to work for Bluebell, and I stood out. The other two were Aggies. <laughs> Both of these guys played significant roles in my career. In our company, I was surrounded by outstanding people. Attending UT was a major building block in the foundation of my life. Here I learned to strive for excellence, to never stop learning, to never give up, and if you work hard enough, you can succeed in almost anything you're determined to do. My involvement with UT activities since graduation has been my way of giving back to the institution that helped get me where I am today. I consider this award tonight as the ultimate recognition. I am humbled to be included with the others on stage and to have my name added to the prestigious list of past recipients. Thank you all and hook 